Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Did you miss me? It's a guy, Mr. PC Wild P. Hey, I'm going on a little stroll right now. All right, I gotta go pick up you know, a few blanks, but we'll get into that right after my intro. So what's good, YouTube? Like I said, I'm going on a little stroll right now. I gotta pick up a few things. I ain't pick the camera up in a minute, yo. Y'all ain't seen me in a minute. All right, just a little quick rundown. Let me get this ash off my lips. What I've been up to. You know, same old same. You know, the business. Um, you know, trying to get my health together as well. Still losing weight, yo. Y'all see it? <laughs> Yeah, I see your boy still losing some pounds. And um, like I normally said in the past, you know, outside of the brand and selling clothes and shit, just real life shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I'm making, I'm making a lot of upgrades at my crib. Getting shit done at my crib. So I got contracts here. Seems like all the time now. But, um, as far as the brands are, you know, concerned, yeah, everything's still in motion. Um, my daughter's new to YouTube now too, so I'm trying to get her up, you know, popping, you know, just real shit. All right, I ain't gonna get on here and tell y'all no bullshit. Like I said in the past, I'm a real cat, <laughs> just like y'all. All right, but um. Um, I've been online, you know, doing some research as well, you know, because when you got brands, uh, you know, everybody's competition, I think. So you actually got to see, you know, what's going on out there in the world as far as fashion in the game. But then at the end of the day, you still got to choose your own path to do what works for you and your customers via your analytics and then who's buying your shit so I know my analytics how my analytics work I know my infographic I know who I'm selling to so on and so forth but what I noticed is right which is funny um I'm new to the whole TikTok wave you know that shit so I go on there Watch everybody talk about their brands and how they got their little six-figure, uh, seven-figure brands and so on and so forth. And then, you know, you keep scrolling and then, you know, you start talking about their hardships and, you know, people giving up and blase this, blase that. And it's like everybody got, like, the same type of shit. You know what I'm saying? The hoodies, they got the full zip hoodies with the puff vinyl on them, all these big-ass Goy designs and it's just a lot of like madness and um, but shout out to them it's like a lot of what I do like though about it it's like a lot of young people on there you know, that are starting brands to jump into this entrepreneurship uh, thing but um, what I don't like is you know this in the London process like what they don't understand, like, it's cool to make bread. Like, we all want to make bread. Shit, I want to make bread. A lot of that. But I still want, you know, my brands and my designs to last forever. I spoke about that in the past. You know, the goal is to get to that vintage point where, you know, the customers are pulling shit out of their closet years later and still rocking. You know what I'm saying? That means they really, really like the products that you're putting out. And your stuff is, you know, good quality. Now, 10 years down the line, you know, you're pulling, you're pulling a full zip uh, hoodie out your closet. If you still have it, if you haven't 
giving it away and throwing it in the trash, you know, with some wild <laughs> design on it. Like, are you really gonna be, are you really gonna really wanna wear that shit? Let's say you, like, 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 like let's take their age demographic. Let's say you, uh, let's say you're 22 right now. 10 years later, you're gonna be 32. You really gonna be rocking a full zip hoodie all the way zipped up to the point where you like this and you can't see shit with some skull eyes on it and so on and so forth with crazy asses. Trust me when I tell you, you ain't gonna be wearing that shit 10 years. All right? But to each his own. Um, other than that, you know, I'm just doing my straw right now. I'm in New York. You know? Alright. So you gotta take this little stroll with me real quick. Conductor, conductor, conductor. Conductor, we have a problem. Conductor, we have a problem. Conductor! What's going on, my man? Good, good. You got white hoodies? Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have. You can take your time. I don't want it to be gilding, though. They only had, they only had gilding up in that joint. Like, and there ain't nowhere in hell. You know, I'm giving my people's no motherfucking gilding. Knock that off. So, I'm just going to continue on. But today I just need something like normally I wouldn't even be doing this. I just need something real quick. I need to ship out these couple of orders, you know, today. So normally, you know, I would just go on my normal websites and um and cop something, but I don't got that type of time right now. But I'm definitely not gonna dumb it down, you know, and um so my customer some cheap ass bullshit. Now we don't do that. We don't do those, y'all. You know what I'm saying? They do that. That goes against everything I stand for. You know? We need repeat customers. That's the name of the game, repeat customers. So like I was saying earlier, you know, with the, with the young folks, you know, start your brand, get your bread. But yo, you wanna last, yo. You wanna last, you wanna be doing this thing for years down the road, right? You don't wanna be in and out real quick on some one and done type shit. I'm saying you wanna be in the game 10 years from now. Still, just, you know what I'm saying? Still selling clothes or, you know, leveling up or doing something else or just being like, you know, Maybe you could be like a full-blown designer where uh, you're designing for other entities, companies, or what have you. You know, just try to grow. Just try to, you know, stand the test of time. Now, what's 
wild jaw is I guess what I was talking about. Full zip joint. Zip it all the way up. Alright, see they get these joints, the sun tea joints. <clears throat> Ten dollars. Then they put their print on it and they're selling them for sixty-five, seventy. I ain't hating. But that's what I mean. So if that's what you into, you could come in a spot like this and get like mad stuff and sell it. You know, mark it up if you want. Uh, they got sets. And I'll show you the name of the spot once I get out of here. They got hats, foam hats, the full zip up joints right here, any size you want. The foam trucker joints. All right. Now, um, like I was saying, that's not like, that ain't like nothing like that I would use. You know, I like to just come and show you the um, what's available out here. In case you know you're on a budget and you want to use the joint. So here it is right here. That's all the information for the establishment that I just walked out of. You just go up these stairs and um, walk right in through it right there. On the left where homie right there is going. Right, they, they, they go their number right there, all the information if you want to check them out. All right. Now, I bought a, um, I bought a sweatsuit for my son. And I'm going to just take a seat real quick and just show y'all what it looked like. Yeah, like I was saying, y'all, on my little stroll trying to find, you know, a couple of hoodies. I was unsuccessful, all right? But um, I found a, a, a sweatsuit that I cop for my son. It's about to be my son's birthday. And um, I copped him some um, red and black Jordan 1s. And I copped him a little sweatsuit that goes with the red and black Jordan 1s. I ain't gonna open the whole thing up. All right, but here it go right here. Should have sold dog. I might, I might double back and go in the store and show y'all. I am gonna do that. I'm gonna double back go in the store and show y'all where I copy it from. But it come in this nice, um, nice plastic. All right, got him the XL joint. Something pretty big. Right, so it's nice, black and red. If this joint feel wild heavy too. Zip up joint. But the plastic ain't doing it no justice because it's a little, it's a little overcast out where I'm at today. And um, it ain't really doing no justice. So I'm gonna double back and go in the store where I cop from so y'all can see you know what it looks like. Like forward without the plastic. Channel, you don't know where I'm, you don't know where I'm at. I'm in Manhattan right now, New York. All right, um, before this video ends, y'all make sure y'all hit that thumbs up. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification so you don't ever miss nothing. Y'all make sure y'all hit my Patreon too as well. Now I apologize, like I said in the past, for not, you know, keeping you, keeping you guys in the loop as far as like creating you know, new content, so on and so forth. But you know, it's life, man. I got to be busy with different shit. You know, and if you don't know, I got a real job, a real career rather. And um, busy with that, busy with my family, wife, kids. Like I said, I'm getting some upgrades done to my house. You know what I'm saying? So your boy pretty much, you know, pretty much lit right now. I got my Wee Major T on right now, one of my Wee Major joints. You know, I got my, um, I got my DC Wild P Camper hat on, boom. Aye! So, with the leather patch on there. You know, so I'm out here, you know, styling and profiling, vibing out. You know, you always like, like I said before, you always wanna make sure you represent your brand. If any 
somebody at you if they approach you like yo that's tough where you get that from you know what i'm saying yo that's me right there it's mine i'm a designer i created that so on and so forth all right yeah y'all make sure y'all um y'all check out my um my shopify website as well all right um at restricted garments on shopify that's my other website i got now that's 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 just gonna be strictly um, for the restricted garments. All right, I'm about to start getting into the new um I dropped the first um <clears throat> I dropped the first capsule. You know, you're going to start seeing me come up with some more um restricted designs and everything else that I got will be on my normal direction CYLP, um, com website. So y'all make sure y'all um, check me out. The link is in the description down below. Alright, but let me just double back real quick. I don't want to leave y'all to look because I want y'all to see this sweatsuit that I got for my son. It's a, it's a blend. And it's kind of flavorful. Quality feel nice, good. That's that's the only reason why I copy it. The, the quality ain't good, you know. You know me, I ain't gonna fuck with it. Alright, so I'm gonna double back real quick and let y'all see um, the different colors. This is another brand right here, Night. It's another like cheap version of sweatshirts, sweatshorts and all that shit and tees. I don't, I don't use that. I don't, I don't suggest using that either. I don't rock with that. For my brand, all right, to each his own. This is where I got my son sweatsuit from right here, y'all. All right, check this joint out. I got this one right here. Nice quality. Nice and thick. You see the bottom of the pants too. Alright. Everything quality, man. The price good. Ain't nothing on the back. Hood. Nice. Zippers. Everything nice. Pockets on the sleeve. Alright. And they got the gray one too. Got the gray version. The gray version flavorful too. All right, they got a few colors. A baby blue. So if you're in the city, or you want to make a trip to the city, y'all come, come see my man. He gonna take care of you. All right. Peace. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basically. Pay attention, stay alert, and remember, choose your own path.